Mitchell will break off the ball. That'll be something to watch. Yeah, and also depends on what kind of defense adjustments that the Nuggets have made to get the ball out of Mitchell's hand. Well, the Aussie rings the register with the three. And so Utah off to a nice beginning with two Mitchell's. made triples. And go bear down the lane to lay it up and in. Field goal and the foul for him. They're not allowing spot up shots, but overall, defensively, they play pretty well. And Ingles, once again, with a cut and dribble. So you don't abandon, like I talked about, kind of your game plan. Pass it up. Ingles will launch and drop it through. So what a beginning for Ingles right now. Has made all three shots, and he's got eight of Utah's 15. Up from the three. Made the two free throws. Moody ah. took the body and still had the finish. Right. Now it's getting a little ragtag. Clarkson again. Our guy. And drops into three. <laughs> More in this game than we saw in game one. They're giving Mitchell a little bit of a rest. And a beautiful little dive cut by Gobert to flip it in. The initiator. Catch and shoot. Hell yeah. And there is Royce O'Neal. Another cross-court pass. It would be interesting to see if Shaquille grew up a little bit later, what kind of player he would be with teaching Ingles hitting that three. And so a timeout on the floor, but the Jazz, 15-point lead. By the Nuggets, and now they pay for it again by giving up the offensive rebound. Now, we talked about this in the first half. Denver looked a step slower now. Ingles right what? down the lane, and that's too easy. Well, I tell you what, now, the outcome of this game, I hate to be the Nuggets tomorrow, watching film. Jordan Clarkson already working on a career high. That, that's a half-court set baseline drive dunk. He was in a scrum, went up for a rebound, and, you know, came down awkwardly on his ankle. I've been there. I understand what that's like. And,